Hi, welcome to the broadcast. My name is Dave Crane, and I'm joined now in a precursor to the exciting things that are coming up for Jitex Live in December by Dr. Chris Cooper, who's a GM of Lenovo Data Center Group across the Middle East and Africa. Now, Chris, this has been a challenging year for everybody, and tech has been our salvation. How do you think Jitex will be different this year than previous years? Well, clearly, Dave, first of all, thanks for the invite. Great to have this pre-discussion ready for Jitex. Let's be clear, you know, we've all been through tremendous change and turmoil in the last 12 months. Um, nothing will be the same as Jitex last year. But the great news is this year that Jitex is taking place physically. You know, we've all been doing virtual conversations, virtual meetings, virtual educations. And, you know, this is the first physical event I'll actually be attending for a number of months. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity of being able to physically meet and discuss with partners and customers alike how technology is evolving and how it can assist them in really driving to the next level of digital transformations, for example. I agree. And I'm very excited to get the chance to, to meet yourself in person for a while uh, and actually everybody else on the panel too. So in terms of tech, what do you think is going to be different this year? Um, I think, well, I, I, can, I can assure you what you're going to see here this year is a display of how organizations like Lenovo are really driving to, to meet the challenges of the new world. Yeah, um, you're going to see a lot more focus on how we can help and enable customers and partners work remotely, some of the tools that we're able to deliver to assist them in doing that to enable them to continue doing more of what they were doing before, but in a remote manner. We're all used to traveling. We're all used to going and meeting customers and partners. You know, those days, uh, I won't say long gone, but they're not back with us yet. You know, we are starting to see some things open up, but we're gonna be portraying one, you know, how to make the best out of the tools that are available today. And two, you know, helping educate people, you know, how we live in this new world. You know, and how we need to work together, how we can share information, um, and also preparing us for what's around the corner, what new technology is going to bring and yield, because you know, outside of the pandemic, new technology is always coming to market, and there is this constant transformation. It's a bit, a bit like fashion goes around in circles. You know, everything is evolving and changing, and you know, that is happening irrespective of the pandemic, but it's how we can use those new changes to really drive and help economies and businesses during the pandemic and beyond that. So in terms of technology, people are speaking about artificial intelligence of 5G and of course cloud technology. A lot of people are worried about the technology behind it and of course cybersecurity. Do you expect this to be a topic of conversation at Jitex? Oh, I'm quite sure it's going to be a topic of conversation, Dave. I mean, we've only got to look at what's happening. You know, the world is proliferating. There's huge amounts of newly connected devices. There is this real shift towards data centered and around edge computing in particular. And artificial intelligence is an important facet within that that gives you the predictive analytics. It gives you the informed information up front at the edge. But again, these are going to become more and more part of our day to day lives. And it's it's not something I think we should be afraid of. It's something that we just need to learn to embrace. There's huge value that we can bring here. You know, artificial intelligence being used in the healthcare industry um, around improving patient outcomes. You know, when you're traveling from point A to point B, it's about you know, using the data and information that's out there in real time to allow you to get there safely and in the most time efficient way. So there's huge benefit behind artificial intelligence. And I think a lot of it really is about getting the right education for people to understand how this is AI for good, as we term it. Now, the world's never going to be the same again. Whatever happens when we come out of this, this uh, shadow over ourselves with the pandemic, but we've already seen the evolution in many industries, telehealth, for instance, when it comes to doctors not seeing patients, but seeing a lot more patients more efficiently online. Can you see more of this being topics of conversation at Jitex? Oh, no, absolutely. The whole idea of telemedicine, telehealth, you know, that, that's just one area. Again, this is about AI for good. There's a lot more wearable devices available today. You, know, you don't need to put yourself into an environment where you need to physically travel to see a doctor in many cases. 
processes now. That can be done remotely. And what it means is not just about saving you taking that journey, potentially putting yourself at more risk by being in an environment where you could contract the pandemic. It's, it's more about delivering information now. So it's actually making informed decisions much quicker and that therefore you know, seriously improves patient outcomes if there is any, any risk of uh, you know, any, any patients suffering from any kind of illness. This of a lockdown, everybody's been living under a shadow of never going back into the office, or at least not for some time. Do you think that the tech that's coming through will make it easier for more people to have remote worker status? Uh, absolutely, Dave. I mean, that, that, that's part of the evolution of this tech. One, it allows customers, partners, everyone to, to carry out most of their role and functions remotely. But there are still some requirements for some organizations to physically return to the workplace, depending on the industry they're working in. Um, but it's, it's going to give the confidence, definitely. I mean, I work in an environment where it's important for me to actually mix with my team and share information and, and bounce ideas off each other. You know, it's all around innovation and new technology, new ideas. So I think some industries will get stifled if there isn't that physical inter you know, interaction face to face. But you know, we're in this new norm uh, and we're just using those technologies to the best of our capabilities and they'll continue to proliferate and support. So with a human side to the biggest conference on tech around the world, um, certainly in the region, what do you think will be the highlight of this year's Jitex? What are you most looking forward to? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Dave, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is physically meeting people, okay? And I'm sure many people feel like that. Um, but outside of that, you know, it's the opportunity to really share what's happening, what's available now, what's going to be available around the corner. We're in exciting times. You know, everyone's talking about the huge evolution of data, the huge amount of new array of connected devices getting connected to the internet. You know, we're poised to, to have that discussion and explain how and why that's important and how it can help every one of our customers go through their own digital and therefore intelligent transformation. So there's gonna be a lot of discussion around edge computing, IoT, edge to cloud you know the cloud business has grown dramatically as organizations have not been able to access their facilities they've been looking for that facility that service to be provided remotely so there should be some really interesting discussions and um, it's, it's going to be great just to meet people i agree social distancing regardless it'll be fantastic to connect to meet a lot of the big players and see what's coming for the coming future at Jitex. Dr. Chris Cooper, always a pleasure. Look forward to seeing you in December. Thanks, Dave. All the best. Look forward to seeing you there.